Uh, last Monday on our show, escapologist Arthur Coughlin made a death-defying escape out of a sealed and locked barrel, exactly like this one, before it fell 100 feet to the ground. And tonight, he's back to, uh, to challenge all logic. Now, what is going to happen here is uh, Arthur is going to be locked and sealed into this barrel, which, uh, will have been, which has been checked by experts and will also be uh, uh, inspected by these people that we have here. Arthur claims that not only will he escape, but that the barrel is going to be totally undamaged and totally intact, with no evidence of uh, how he did it. Now, before we bring Arthur out here, I want you to meet these gentlemen who are going to act as witnesses. Firstly, uh, this gentleman over here in the middle from the Sunday uh, newspaper in Sydney. This is Kevin Sadley. Would you say hello to Kevin, please? Sir? And uh, this bearded wonder over here is from uh, radio station 3AW. This is, uh, by the way, a Melbourne supporter. I may as well acknowledge it. Darren Hinch, over here. <laughs> and uh, do we have um, uh, John? John, why don't you come out here, mate? You can come out and stand on this side of me over here. We can get you. You all met John Freeman from a rapid locksmith the last time, uh, last one. <laughs> David Laferve from uh, Orb Locksmiths. That's nice right. to see you, David. And uh, <laughs> this, this gentleman down the end here, if you will come over this way, I can do a better job of introducing you. This is from the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology. This is the head of uh, Civil Aeronautical uh, Engineering, Mr. Eric Stokes. Nice to see you. <laughs> okay. Now, I think the first thing is you and I come over here, Eric, and we can discuss this. Now, you had this barrel uh, at the Institute yesterday for examination. Now, how right. was it examined to start with? Well, mainly visually, Don. Yeah. Uh, we didn't have too much time. We had open day yesterday, mm -hmm. and we had a large number of 10-year-old escapologists uh, trying to see how to get out. Oh, all the kids that came to visit yeah. wanted to get in a barrel, did they? Yes. Yeah. All right, well... <laughs> not many wanted to get in, but, uh, you know, they were, they were keen to work out how to get out of it. Uh-huh. And, uh, well, what about a rod, for example, um, that goes through this, that has the locks on either end, which yes. is this rod here? Yes. I suppose you can check this out. Yeah. Now, that is the same rod that you looked at yesterday, is it? You have yes. put your own secret markings on this, yes, I understand. Yes, that's right. That's the same rod. Okay. And the rod is in one piece. It was suggested yes. by some people that perhaps maybe this came apart. Yes. But it is in one piece. We haven't been able to find anything. You haven't been able Well, no. if you can't find it, I don't think anybody can. It's a... No. All right. We haven't x-rayed. That's the only thing, but... Uh, okay, now let's talk about a couple of other things here. Yes. We have these pieces that were welded on. Those yes. are solid welds and would be very hard to take off yes. with your hands. Yes, that's right. Yes. And uh, what about the hinges? The hinges look pretty solid. They are welded. You've got one going that way, one going that way, so you can't... You can't slide oh, I see what you mean. In other yeah. words, the hinges are in from opposite directions on either side, yes. same direction in the middle, but you couldn't slide that if you wanted no, to. No, you can't slide it. Right. And this bottom part, there was some question from some people about this bottom part down here as well. Has that, that has been welded. That's, yes, that's welded around there. Right. And these on the outside? They are welded. As well? Yes. You could not pull that off with your bare hands? No. 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 You, have you tried? I've, yes, I've tried, and I can't, I can't break. All right, now there was something about some extra welding that you wanted to have done today. Yes. What was that about? And was uh, it done? I don't yes, know. Yes, it was been done there. That was to stop the bottom being, uh, being slid in that way. So what? Uh, so some people were... Uh, Worried that... Putting forth the theory that maybe this thing slid in. Slid in, and but, the, the lid came out, and then you go out. But with top. this being welded onto these crossbars, that can't happen. That can't happen. Right, okay. Now, do you have any theories, do you think, as to how this gentleman gets out of this uh, <coughs> barrel? No, I've, if he doesn't damage it at all, I've exhausted all my theories. If he doesn't damage it, you have exhausted... Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. And this is the same drum that you tested yes, yesterday? Yes, that's right. You're positive of that? Yes. All right. Now we will move on a little bit. I still have this rod in my hand. Let me just slip this through here. Gentlemen, you come over here, would you please? Oh, do you want to? You fellas can have a look at this while, uh, while I'm talking. Being a skeptic, Don. Being that's a skeptic. all right. You can be as skeptical as you like. The both of you can. Uh, examine to your heart's content and pull and push and do whatever you want. Just uh, if you do any damage to it, remember where you did it. My own theory is that it's in these hinges. You think it's in the hinges? Somehow he opens it that way. Through well, the trouble with that theory though is hard. that this one goes that yeah. way and this one goes this way. This one in the middle is the only one that repeats, but of course you'd have to be able to really 
do something to that really heavy to get that to slide out. I don't see how he could get it out. I in the allotted time anyway. I think it's going to be about three minutes. Okay. Mm. All right, fellas, you've you've had a look at that. Are you satisfied? I mean, really and truly satisfied. I mean, I, I don't know what else to tell you. What else to do? Over here we have some locks. These gentlemen come from accredited locksmiths, uh, both of them, orb locks here and uh, Moravian locks for John. Uh, we've got here uh, these. Now, fellas, these are locks. Uh, you haven't uh, shown these to anybody else. These are your own. These are the locks from your place, right? That's right. Both of them. Yes. Okay. Like your phone is ten altogether. Fellas, Kevin, uh, uh, Darren, you wanted to pick a lock, and you can pick a lock. You can change it if you want. Do whatever you want. These locks have been brought in by these gentlemen. It's the first time I've seen them. I haven't got a clue. I can't pick a lock. You can't pick a lock. <laughs> Trouble with Bob Dyer. I couldn't pick a box. Go ahead. You're right? Yeah, that's fine. Are you satisfied with yeah. those two? Okay, give me those. H has he been searched? Has time. he been searched? Yeah, Mr. Coleman. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, how about a hand for Arthur Coughlin? Right here. Come on. You. I haven't changed these yet. I wish you would hold on to those locks, please. Uh, those are the two that are chosen. Arthur, uh, Darren Hinch uh, asked the question. Um, he actually asked it uh, when I saw him at the football last week. He said, uh, Oh, great. <laughs> he said, Had you been searched? I said, No, you hadn't. Would you be opposed to anyone? Darren, go ahead. <laughs> just, just watch where you reach, mate. That's all. Hello, Arthur. Darren Hinch, Arthur Cogman. Uh, they do this in, in Skyways. So yeah. in... You can look in the jacket, too, I suppose, as well. Yeah. You sexy beast. <laughs> Is it, a, is it a bottle opener? Couldn't tell me about it. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I, I think you've been had. That's a you would where's that again? That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> the shoes the old you wanna look you wanna look inside like the shoes? You can look at the shoes if mate. you want. He's got the shoes in there. What are you trying to do to me? Make you look like a skeptic. No. <laughs> I'm the skeptic. No, you're right. Not you're bad. Right? Not bad. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. That's very funny, by the way. Getting out of there with a with a can opener. Are you okay? You don't need the jacket, Arthur. No. no you're right. No, Everything's no. cool. Yeah, all great. Okay, okay. mate. Keep the camera right on this. He's right here. He's right over your head. Okay. So you can see it's the same rod going through. Nice. Okay. So you want us to move this? Yep, yeah, we okay. What they got a camera right on that? It's not being changed. No, no nothing's changed. You can see it. Hang on, same, same rod, right. same rod right on the end. Okay, now would everybody please step back from the barrel? Everybody, thank you. All right. I'd now like to hand you a cheque for $10,000 on behalf of George Corrett and Bruce Raw, the owners of the Gold Coast Castle, where we do the Four Illusion shows daily, as a cheque for $10,000 to anybody who can prove that any part of that is faked in any shape or form. And I understand we have two guards here from Main Nicholas. That stands good for 30 days. Right. Oh, come over here. Now, if there are any more cynics out there that don't believe what can or can't be done, these locks are still solid, these welds are still on, the barrel is still solid in the one piece, I don't see any damage to any hinges, I don't know whether it was or not, experts can examine it, these people have looked at it, but there you got proof for it, and if there's a better escapology in this country than this man, I want to know who it is. There's the check, $10,000, if you can prove there's something wrong with the barrel. We're going for a commercial break, how about a hand for Arthur Coughlin, yes.